Hello beautiful flowers and welcome to today's video. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Michaela. I am a cash stuffer and budgeter here on YouTube. And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support. So in today's video, we are cash stuffing my fourth paycheck of September. And we are going to be stuffing my savings challenges and my binder for Universal Studios in Orlando. So stick around and let's get to stuffing. So I have $221 here today to go to my savings envelopes, savings challenges, and my vacation binder, which by the way, you guys, it is a super exciting week because we are going to be completing our um, savings for in my vacation binder. This is it. We're going to be doing the final envelope, finishing that up. So I am very excited to have that complete. And yeah, so let's go ahead and start off in my savings challenge binder. This thing is stuffed and luckily we are near the end of a quarter. So, you know, a quarter of the year is a three month period. So every three months, every quarter, I go through and I count all of my savings challenges, the ones that I don't, you know, count every week and I consolidate them. So there will be a quarterly savings challenge update coming at the end of this month, but I believe I have one more cash stuffing left. So here she is. Oh, I have to show off every every time I have to show off this beautiful um, dashboard by Davina C. And all of these envelopes except for these foil ones are by Davina. So, all right, we do not have any money left over from my wallet. So we're going to be skipping this ones, fives, and tens challenge. But we are going to go ahead and stuff my home savings envelope. So I am so thankful I was able to put $100 towards this this week. I usually put 50, but you know, on weeks when I have a little extra to work with, I always like to swing a little bit extra into this. So we're gonna be stuffing $100 in this. And now it has one, two, three, four, five, six, 657, 720, 740, 45, and 50. So it has $750 in our home savings envelope. And this is just for projects, um, emergency home repair, you know, just anything related to our house where something comes up and we need cash, it's coming out of this. Our emergency fund is fully funded at 2,500. I would like to eventually get it up to maybe 3,000, but you know, 2,500 is where it's at now. All right, our 52 week challenge. So this is a challenge where every week we stuff, you know, whatever number week of the year it is. So we're on week 37. Hopefully I am kind of accurate with what we, the year is actually on. So week 37, we're going to be stuffing $37 and I do count this one, but let me go ahead and get my 37. So we have 20, 30, 35, 36, 37. Perfect. And I'll have to get it all organized. But yeah, this one's a fun one because it does, you know, obviously the amount gets larger every week, but it increases slow, slowly that it doesn't really seem like it's that much. And so at the end of this, as you can see from this little tracker, there's going to be $1,378. So we just added 37. Let's see where we're at. And I'm so thankful because all of this will actually be able to be consolidated at the end of this month because it'll be our quarter update. So we have 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 600, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. Uh, we had 670, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 680, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 691, 92, 93. I think it's 693 or 593, but I'm more leaning towards 693, kind of based on where we're at in the year. Uh, almost 700. That is awesome. And this envelope cannot take much more. All right, so let's go ahead and color in week 37 here. And I feel like now that my um, emergency fund is funded and, you know, I finished my Princess Budgets 1K Savings Challenge, I need to start a new one, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do. All right, next up we have our likes challenge. So this is kind of funky this week because I'm super behind on posting videos at the time of me filming this. I just went with 
the budget with me that, you know, the latest one I've had up, which is a few paychecks ago. So it is quite a few because it's been up for over a week now. And it's been a while since I've posted a video, a budget with me video. So we just went with the amount of likes on that, which is like 170 something. But it ended up being $56 to put in this. So I'm going to grab my 56 so yeah, I apologize for not being on track with that. It might be, you know, a little while um, before I can get caught up. Obviously, at the time of me filming this, hopefully I am caught up, but we shall see. Oh, I do this every week. So my likes challenge is a challenge that I do not count. I save that for our quarterly update. So I'm just going to put the 56 at the back of this. And I just made it harder on myself because now I have to put all of this back in here. But I am super excited to... I do go through every once in a while and sort it. So you'll see that quite a bit of this is sorted. But for the most part, I just leave it. And we're going to try and stuff it back in. And this will be counted at the end of this month. So one more paycheck to go. But we are going to put our amount in that we're doing here. So let's see. Oh, I need to grab an actual like... Sharpie that you can see. So 56 is going to go into this. And I like to just keep this tracker um, because, you know, that way whenever I do end up counting this every quarter, I can total up all of this and make sure it matches um, just to kind of be safe. So that's it for our savings challenges. And so I know it's kind of a short video, but that's because I don't have as many envelopes of stuff now that I'm not, you know, now that things are reaching its goals, um, is our Universal Studios. So this is it you guys we are gonna put $28 into our flight envelope and then we will have everything saved for and we can book our trip so 25 6 7 and 8 28 dollars going into flight and this envelope had a goal of $700 so 28 plus 7 and our ones at the back. So, I feel like this needs to bend. Okay. Let's go ahead and make sure we have $700 here. So we have one, two, three, four, four fifty-five, five fifty, five seventy, five nine, uh, six ten, or five ninety, six ten, six thirty, six fifty, six seventy, six eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, seven hundred. We did it you guys i have officially saved up for our trip to universal and this is also just based on prices from the beginning of the year so things have definitely gone up with inflation so i'm gonna reevaluate these this week hopefully i have time this week and maybe next and just kind of like double check on the prices of things and see if we actually need to increase some of these amounts but I will let you guys know if we end up having to save more for this. But this, at the very least, is enough to book the trip. We have, I think, a little over $3,000 in here. And I don't know if I've ever explained why we're going to Universal besides fun. But we are going to start trying for our first child in January. And we're going to be going in January. So um, we really want to kind of have one big trip before I get pregnant and before we have a baby and start a family because it's so much harder to travel with young kids and we also never had a honeymoon zach and i got married in 2018 and we never went on a honeymoon we've gone on really short trips like to mall of america or like to oh gosh where else have we gone like omaha you know to see like the zoo and stuff but we've never gone on a big trip so and universal is like we love Universal. Like, Zach has been there um, a few times before, but I never have been. So, we are super excited. So, yay! I will stop chatting and let you go about your day. But I go, hope you hit that subscribe button if you weren't subscribed already. Hit that like. Leave, um, leave a comment down below on, like, a trip that you've been wanting to go on that you want to save up for. I'm interested to see what you guys, you know, what trips you, where you guys like to go. But yeah, have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.